गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिनेश मिगलानी ट्यूटोरियल्स इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट इडियम्स एंड फ्रेजेस दैट्स अवर सेशन नंबर टू फॉर मोर वीडियोस यू मे लॉग इन टू माय वेबसाइट www.dineshmiglani.com माय फेसबुक पेज दिनेश मिगलानी ट्यूटोरियल्स माय व्हाट्सएप नंबर जीरो फॉर एनी क्वारी यू मे सेंड मेल टू मी एट माई ई मेल आई डी लीगल बडी एट द रेट जी मेल डॉट कॉम फॉर रेगुलर अपडेट्स ऑफ माई वीडियोज यू मे सब्सक्राइब माई यूट्यूब चैनल दिनेश मिगलानी ट्यूटोरियल्स आई एक्सपेक्ट फ्रॉम यू टू शेयर माई वीडियोज ऑन योर फेसबुक वॉल एज वेल एज विद योर फ्रेंड्स सो दैट दे विल ऑल्सो बी बेनिफिटेड बाई दिस लेट एस स्टार्ट विद दिस सेशन सेशन नंबर टू ऑफ इडियम्स एंड फ्रेजेस द फर्स्ट वन इज टू पिक ए बोन विद सम वन इट मीन्स दैट वेन आई से to pick a bone with someone it means to dispute to create a dispute with someone right or to fight you should not pick a bone with him over petty matters it means that you should not fight with him over very small matters so that is to pick a bone with someone it means to dispute to be in good books it means to be in favor right uh we should be in the good books of our elders it means that we should always be in the favor of our elders or in general means when i say i am in the good books it means uh my image is very good before that person right so if i say to be in good books it means to be in favor to be in bad books it means to be in disfavor right so there's these two are just opposite to be in good books and to be in bad books the student who are not serious about their studies are in the bad books of the teachers right the student jo serious nahi hote padhai ke liye they are in the bad books of the teachers from the bottom of one's heart it means genuinely if i say that from the bottom of one's heart that is genuine respect right uh it's not uh, being affected by any artificial that's purely genuine we should thank the persons who help us in need from the bottom of our hearts right so when i call out bottom of one's heart it means that genuine from very depth right from the bottom of one's heart by leaps and bounds by leaps and bounds means very rapidly very fastly very rapidly or you may call it as very fastly right so that is by leaps and bounds my brother's business is picking up by leaps and bounds right it means that the my uh, brother's business is uh, going uh, very fastly very rapidly next one is bread and butter when when we call it as bread and butter that is said to be livelihood your daily livelihood you are earning right most indians find it difficult even to earn their bread and butter it's a wrong statement in general right most indians find it difficult even to earn their bread and butter uh, bread and butter means uh, to earn your livelihood aapki jo roz marra ki zaroorate hain jo daily uh, your all uh, needs of day to day so that is said to be your livelihood right that is bread and butter to break out to break out means to start right the cholera has broken out in the city it means that now in the city is affected by the cholera it has just started to break out to break with to break with means to cease relations or we may call it as to break relations right to end them we should not uh, break with our kids our tri trifles uh, we should not break with it means that we should not cease our uh, relations with kids means our near and dear ones over trifles over small issues the trifles is said to be small matters on small issues right that calls at kids and kins over near and dear ones near and dear ones they are said to be kids and kins okay so what we can say that we should not break with it means we should not cease relations next one is to breath once last it means that to die my friend's father breath his last on monday after a prolonged illness so if we call it as breath his last that means that to die to bring about next is to bring about is to cause to happen right the new principal has brought about many changes in our college uh, the new principal has 
made many changes in our college. So when we talk about to bring about means uh, to make, to cause, to happen, right? That is said to be bring about. To bring down the house. <coughs> to bring down the house, it means to draw applause. काफी ज्यादा तालियां बजाना या काफी ज्यादा प्रेज लेना दैट इज सेट टू बी टू ड्रॉ एप्लोज राइट टू ब्रिंग अबाउट टू ब्रिंग डाउन द हाउस हर वंडरफुल परफॉर्मेंस इन द शो ब्रोट डाउन द हाउस इट मीन्स दैट हर वंडरफुल परफॉर्मेंस इन द शो हैज ड्रोन एप्लोज फ्रॉम द पीपल राइट दैट इज सेट टू बी टू ब्रिंग डाउन द हाउस टू ड्रो एप्लोज बुल इन ए चाइना शो रथलेस डिस्ट्रॉयर means heartless destroyer right a bull in the china shop does not last long means that when we call about a ruthless destroyer will not last long right he will soon or he will sooner or later will be died that we call it as bull in a china shop is a ruthless destroyer to burn the candle at both ends it means to waste money and health quickly when we call it out to burn the candle at both hands it means to waste money and health quickly if he burns the candle as at both hands he will soon be ruined means that if he burns the candle at both hands he will soon be ruined right it means if he wasted money and health it means that soon he will be ended to burn the midnight oil <coughs> when we say to burn the mid midnight oil it means to work very hard right one has to burn the midnight oil in order to do well in the ias examination that is indian administrative services examination it means that if you want to succeed in ias examination it means that you have to work very hard to burn the midnight oil it means to work hard by and by by and by means before long everything will be all right by and by means sooner or later everything will be right okay then by and by by hook or by crook it means that by all means right either it's fair or foul means right so that is said to be by hook or by crook he decided to win the election by hook or by crook it means that uh, he decided to win the election by all means either they means are fair or foul that is said to be by hook or by crook bag and baggage bag and baggage means completely living behind nothing right on his retirement mr lal had to quit the government bungalow bag and baggage it means that completely he has to leave the bungalow right of the government <coughs> after the retirement that is said to be bag and baggage completely be of one's head be of one's head means to be very mad to be mad to be crazy right he must be of his head to think that he will win the election it means that if he thinks that he is going to win the election it means that he is a bad he is mad right so that is said to be be of one's head that meaning is to be mad be of one's head next one is by for by for means beyond all comparison right so this is by for the best dress in the shop it means that that is the best dress available in the shop which cannot be compared with the other dresses that is said to be the by for best dress right beyond all comparison next one is grapes are sore means unavailable things are undesirable when, uh, when we are not able to achieve something so in the last we can say that the grapes are sore it means that if we cannot achieve it so that's very difficult for us to achieve right so things which are not available are undesirable sohan could not win the election he says politics is a dirty game for him grapes are so jisko hum kehte hain angur khatte hain right so that is unavailable things are undesirable when you are not able to achieve something for that you call you call it as grapes are so next one is bed of roses that is very easy life okay our life is not a bed of roses it has hardship also <coughs> means our life is not a easy life uh, hardships are also there that is bed of roses 
बाय डिंट ऑफ मीन्स बाय मीन्स ऑफ रेखा गोड फर्स्ट पोजिशन बाय डिंट ऑफ हार्ड वर्क मीन्स इफ यूज गोड द फर्स्ट पोजिशन फॉर दैट शी वर्क हार्ड राइट दैट बाय मीन्स ऑफ हार्ड वर्क दैट इज बाय डिंट ऑफ मीन्स बाय मीन्स ऑफ बाय ऑल मीन्स सटेली यूजिंग ऑल मीन्स आई एम रेडी टू सीक हर एडवाइस बाय ऑल मीन्स इट मीन्स दैट आई एम रेडी टू सीक हर एडवाइस सटेनली राइट दैट इज सटेनली जिसको हम हिंदी में कहते हैं निश्चित राइट दैट इज कॉल एज निश्चित इन हिंदी फॉर द स्टूडेंट हुआ इन हिंदी राइट बाय ऑल मीन्स आई एम रेडी टू सीक हर एडवाइस बाय ऑल मीन्स नेक्स्ट वन इज बाय वर्च्यू ऑफ ओन अकाउंट ऑफ मनोज इज ए मेंबर ऑफ दिस कम्युनिटी बाय वर्च्यू ऑफ द ऑफिस ही होल्ड्स तो जनरली वी बाय वर्च्यू ऑफ मीन्स ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ बिकॉज ऑफ दैट to bury the hatchet to forget a quarrel to make peace right big power should bury the hatchet in the middle east it means they have to forget their quarrel they have to forget their cause of fight beside the mark irrelevant not to the point her answer is beside the mark so she will not give so she will not be given good marks means her answer is irrelevant <coughs> that's why she will not be given good marks for that so beside the mark means not relevant to bell the cat to bell the cat means to face a risk we should have courage to bell the cat at any moment we should have courage to bell the cat at any moment it means that we have to face a risk at any moment a bed of thorns means full of sufferings and sorrows right that is opposite to a bed of roses for rajni the new office proved to be a bed of thorns <coughs> in hindi thorns is named as kaate right it means that when i say a bed of thorns means full of sufferings and sorrows a blessing in a disguise means a thing which appears to be a curse but proves to be a blessing sometime uh in starting something appears to be bad to us but uh, in future when we proceed further that thing proves to be a blessing to us that is said to be a blessing in disguise anju's failure proved to be a blessing in disguise because in her second attempt she got first division right that is said to be a blessing in disguise a big gun a big gun means a important figure the president is a big gun in the country it means that the president is an important figure in the country to bear the palm it means that to win reward rita bore the palm in the declamation contest <coughs> means she won a reward in the declamation contest that is said to be to bear the palm to bear to the burnt off to bear to the brunt of that is to bear the main force of stress the brave punjabis bore the brunt of pakistani attack in 1971 right so they have bear the main force of stress to beat holo to beat holo means to defeat completely when we talk about holo <coughs> to to beat holo means to defeat completely our army beat pakistan holo in war it means that when i say to beat holo means a uh, defeat completely it means that our army has defeated pakistan in war completely defeated between the devil and the deep sea matlab between two great difficulties right between the devil and the deep sea sham found himself between the devil and the deep sea and did not know what to do it means that now he is in two great difficulties if he goes in this side there is devil as he goes in the other side there is a deep sea means he is in great difficulties to bite on granite it means to waste energy to bite on granite means to waste energy to press a miser for donation is like biting on the granite it means that miser is <coughs> so <coughs> miser means conjus means who do not spend money right what we can say that uh, to press a, a miser for donation is like biting on a granite biting on granite means to waste energy 
beyond one's grasp means out of one's reach the technicalities of the working of the computer is beyond the grasp of a layman it means that that is beyond the reach of a person <coughs> that is beyond one's grasp beyond the reach of the person next one is to call in question to call in question means to a dispute nobody could well mahatma gandhi's integrity in question it means that no, uh, nobody call that's uh, no, nobody could call Mahatma Gandhi's integrity in question means no, nobody can uh, dispute on Mahatma Gandhi's integrity. To call to mind, that is to recall. We should try to call up the facts to our mind about the case. It means that <coughs> we should try to recall the facts to our mind about the case. That is said to be to call to the mind means to recall. Yad karna kis tis go. The next one is to carry the day, right? To, mm. to carry the day means to win, right? When we need to call it as to carry the day, to carry the day means to win, right? So we can say that Sabina carried the day in the inter-school debate competition. It means that she uh, won the inter-day school competition, inter-school competition, debate competition, right? That is to win. To carry on, to carry on means to continue. Please carry on with what you are doing. It means to continue what you are doing. <coughs> to carry weight. It means to be effective. Our arguments carry weight. It means our arguments are effective. To chew the cut. It means to reflect, to show. Many a time I feel like chewing the cut of the past events. It means that many a times I feel... Uh, my past events are reflected, right? That is to chew the curd, is to reflect. Your past events are shown under a cloud in disfavor. The corrupt sub inspector is under a cloud these days, right? If I say I am under a cloud of, uh, from my boss, it means that I am not in favor of my boss, right? That is said to be in disfavor, under the cloud. A turncoat. A politician who changes sides. Generally, a term code is used for a politician who frequently changes sides. <coughs> a political term code does not reflect selfless motives. Right. So generally, uh, the political changing of the sides does not show a selfless motive. That always talked about the selfishness. Coke and bull story is an idle invention. Right, it's a made-up story. Coke and bull story is an idle invention. None can believe this coke and bull story about his achievements. Means whatever he's saying that, whatever the story of his achievement he's saying is not good. <coughs> it's just a made-up story. Right, it's an idle invention. To see in true color, it means to see properly, without any biasness. To see the mesh in true color, we should go and stay with him for some days. It means that if we want to see the mesh in a proper sense, so we should go and stay there for some days. To come off with flying colors, to be successful, to come off with flying colors, that is said to be, to be successful, the Indian Antarctic Expedition Team came off with flying colors. It means that Indian Antarctic Antarctic expedition team came with flying covers means to be successful. <clears throat> Fifth columnist, right? He who works against the interest of his own country. That is, they are said to be fifth columnist. The government should deal with the fifth columnist sternly. It means that the persons who are <coughs> working against the interest of their own country. The government should take strict action on them. On the contrary, it means on the other hand, India and Pakistan should have friendly relations. On the contrary, their relations are strained. Right? Means uh, India and Pakistan should have uh, good relations, but on the other hand, what actually is there? Their relations are very strained. To curry favor with, <coughs> to, to flatter. Right, to flatter generally means chaplusi. Is kum kya kehte hain? Chaplusi, to flatter. Those who curry 
फेवर विद मैनेजर्स गेट ए बिग राइज इन सैलरी टू कट शॉर्ट दैट इज टू मेक ब्रीफ और टू शॉर्ट टर्म आई हैड टू कट शॉर्ट आवर स्टे इन नील ग्रीज वेन वी रिसीव ए कॉल फ्रॉम द होम मीन्स वी हैव टू शॉर्ट टर्म द uh stay in the nilgiri right the reason we, that is that we have got a call from the home to come back right to cut short means to make brief or to shorten so this is end to our second session of idioms and phrases i hope you enjoyed it thank you very much you may send your feedback at my email id legalbuddy@gmail.com or correct me on my facebook at the rate dinesh miglani tutorials my whatsapp number 09215154335 thank you very much